Hello, I'm Helen Gillingham and I'm the subject leader for Modern Foreign Languages here at Gosford Hill School. And I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about German A-Level and what's on offer. Um, here at Gosford we are really passionate about our language teaching and so if you have enjoyed German GCSE and have achieved a grade 6 or above, then perhaps German A-Level could be for you. Right, so here at Gosford we, we follow the AQA syllabus and you will be taught by two teachers who have um, a lot of experience of delivering the German A-Level course. Um, we use a published course, the um, AQA Oxford course, but alongside this um, course we use the online platform Kaboodle which means you have plenty of access to extra listening material, video material, um, the textbook is online as well, extra grammar exercises and things, so it's an excellent resource which we use both in the classroom and also you can use it for your individual study at home. But we feel that language teaching isn't at its best unless we use a lot of authentic resources. So information is up to date, we use clips from radio programmes, television programmes, um, newspaper cuttings, etc. Um, and also um, to give a real flavour of the German culture, we study um, a book, well a play, which is Andorra by Max Frisch and um, a film, Goodbye Lenin, which really helps us um, look at social issues, political issues um, and some historical aspects as well. Um, the course is delivered mainly through topics and it's through those topics that we help you develop your grammatical and linguistic, linguistic skills. Um, some of the topics include, um, on the social side, things like the changing um, state of the family, um, media, youth culture, um, then there's also an arti um, artistic and political uh, culture section covering things like art and architecture in German-speaking countries, music and um, political aspects such as German reunification. Um, how is it assessed? It's assessed through three um, examinations at the end of year 13 a reading, listening and translation exam, a writing exam where you write two short essays in German, one on the film and one on the novel that we've studied, and then a speaking um, assessment. Um, before that, you will have had plenty of time to have chosen your own subject for something called an um, individual research project. And the speaking exam consists of a two minute presentation of that topic, and then um, further discussion with your um, teacher on that which is recorded. Um, there is also an option to do AS level German and that would be exactly half of the A level so we can teach it alongside the A level with um, exams at the end of year 12 and that would be an extra on top of three other full A levels. Um, so. Uh, what can you do beyond A-level if you do take German A-level? Because it's really a practical and also academic skill and firmly based in um, communication, it makes you really flexible and adaptable in the workplace. So it's highly prized in areas such as hospitality, um, marketing, business, publishing. Uh, there's an option if you do German A-level, many people go on to study German at university either um, a German in its own right or German combined with subjects such as economics, history, international relations, media studies. Um, and it's just, it's, it's a real asset to have um, a high level of another language in the workplace. So not only is German A-level fun and interesting, varied, it makes you think, um, but also, um, it could really play uh, a role in um, shaping your future.